Hey y'all, welcome to Uniquely Vintage You. If you love vintage inspired decor, DIY style on a budget, plus thrifting and junkin, then my sister and I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, comment and like our page, and hit the bell notification to catch all our new videos. We are so glad that you are here. Today's video is all about Americana decor and how you can take simple items that you might have in your home to create three different settings. I hope this will inspire you to decorate your home for this holiday or your next summer get together. Here's the first thing that we created is our outside space. And here's just some of the items that I gathered from my home to create that. I've got the American flag, several flags actually. I have an old tin, some old books, some dinnerware, a flower arrangement, some vintage pictures, which I love to, to collect and use in everything. Um, some old ticking fabric. And this is kind of how we set it up. It's perfect for your holiday gathering. We wanted something outside and didn't really have a picnic table. So we improvised, as you'll see in a little bit, with just using some sawhorses from, from my dad's shop. Putting some old boards on top to create a table. I love this. I love the flag. I think the best thing we did was hang that beautiful Americana flag from those trees. It created such a beautiful setting. When the sun shining through it, so, so pretty. When doing any type of tablescape, it's always great to have risers. As you will see, I've used a picnic basket. I've used an old stool. Just different things to give different levels gives a lot of interest. Even just by adding an old tricycle or if you had an old wagon, that would be so cute. What I wanted to do was take an old wagon and fill it with a uh, canned pop and ice. That would have been adorable. But we just took a bucket here, added some Coke bottles, used a cake stand to serve cupcakes, our water dispenser, a lantern, a very inexpensive flower arrangement just made from flowers that I had on hand, stuck in a basket with some flags. Just really love how this turned out. And I think using the bunting in front of those sawhorses to camouflage that was a great idea and it looks so cute. Here's a close-up of that flower arrangement. It's just stuck in an old basket I had. And like I said, just adding flags to your flowers is perfect for any kind of Americana decor. The next thing I have, if you'll see the USA, those are actually vintage store price stands. I guess that's what you call it. But they're one of my favorite things to use. And these, I just stuck some scrapbook paper in them, cut USA out of scrapbook paper that I had, stuck them on there. Love, love how that turned out. Another one of my favorite items is this star tray that I found last year. And I love using this to display throughout my home all year. So remember when you're creating uh, a tablescape, just use what you have on hand. There's no need to go buy anything new if you don't have to. Sometimes using things in the most unexpected way turns out to be the best. But by far, that flag and that tree with the sun shining through it is my favorite. So beautiful. Here's a tablescape that we did inside, and we did use some of these things over and over. I've used those uh, same vintage store find, 
price finders, labels, whatever they are, on this table too. And to create a runner, I just use a piece of ticking. And then of course, those vintage pictures. I just put some beautiful peonies in those. I was able to find those at Hobby Lobby. Our play setting consists of some vintage dishes and the plates that are red and white are paper plates from the Dollar Tree, topped with an Americana flag. But I love using the pictures. In those pictures I have flowers, some have straws, some have some silverware. I just think it turned out to be a really fun mix. And I love how it turned out. Let me know in the comments, do you like to decorate for the 4th of July? It's one of my favorite holidays. You guys have to let me know what is yours. Here's just a close-up again of the table. I've got that antique picture sitting in that star tray with that number four. Guys, that four was just made out of scrap wood I had on hand, glued together, tied with some rag ribbon. So easy and makes such a cute display. And here's our third setting. This we've used on my sister's island took that same picture with the beautiful peonies and the flags, put that on a riser, a cake riser. And here we just set up our, our snacks. We've got our water dispenser, our snacks for the holiday, kind of a buffet style here. There's that star tray. Guys, I will try to find a link for that and list it below. And also this white candle holder, found that at Kirkland's. Love that so much. I will definitely try to list uh, that or give a link for you below if you wanna to try to find one of those. And there are those vintage store price holders again. Love that. They would even look great in a kitchen to put some recipe cards from special family members. So cute. Here is the One Nation Under God. Love how that turned out. Guys, that United States was just a blank piece that I found at Hobby Lobby. I used my silhouette to create One Nation Under God. So easy. I hope that you'll try that to add to your home decor. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video. We hope that you have a safe and blessed holiday. And remember that no matter where you are in life, that Jesus loves you. And so do we. See you guys in the next one. Bye, y'all. Next one. I hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe.